I won't touch that shit. Hang it up. It's a vice. <laughs> I think it's great that they that Christian Bell actually put on weight. If that was real weight. No, that's his real weight. That was real weight? Good. That was real weight. Um, um, this is a good movie. Really good. You know what? I always find when you do any of these real life movies, um, well, you know, docu- not any documentary. What's it called? Um, biographies? Yeah, biopics. When you do any of these bi- biopics, they, they, I always want to know how you frame it and all the rest of that. It's, it isn't said until the very end of the movie, like, well, this is a liberal movie. <laughs> and somebody says the great example. It, 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 they, this movie is amazingly deep. Yeah, for, for a movie, like... It's a you, dark comedy. Let's get it very straight. It is a dark comedy. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, there I, are I, a lot of funny moments in this movie. I think going into this... The, usually the hindrance with biopics and stuff has always been there's a bit of uh, bias. Yeah, there's going to have to be There's going to be a bias. With this movie, it feels that there was no bias. It was just straight truth. What happened? What happened? And Because there is, there's like two times in the movie where they do say, now nah, we don't know what really went down yeah. in this room. Yeah, because basically it's following Dick Cheney and his rise to power. And there were certain things about Dick Cheney I didn't know. Yeah. So the movie actually did a pretty good job. I don't know why I thought he was from Manta- Montana. And when he said was Con- well, Wyoming, I was like, I knew that. I fucking yeah. knew that. <laughs> and what was great about it is that, like, if you're the type of person that followed along on the political stuff, you know, at least for us. For me. For me, I would say probably, like, when actually, Bush Jr. went into office. That yeah, I think that's where I kicked in. You know, on. I think a lot of us, uh, at least the older millennials, we all f- fell in that group of when... George Bush somehow won the election. Oh yeah! All of a sudden, we gave a fuck about politics. Some a little bit earlier, yeah. I would say when um, you know, Bill Clinton admitted that he was fingering motherfucking Monica. I think that that's piqued a, my interest. I I'll, think that piqued a lot I'll, of our I'll, interest. I'll admit but that. We, yeah, but this, but you know what I'm saying. Around that time, that's when a lot of the uh, late stage Gen X's and early millennials kicked in when it came to the news, and we started viewing it and try so, so it's interesting for us if you in your 30s you're going to say I remember that uh-huh. I remember that I remember that whoa that happened there's like four things that I've seen in this and seen in this where I said is me and Chris has said at least several times that happened yeah. That happened, and us looking at the other person nodding. Yeah, you didn't remember that. Yeah, and and that's the thing. It's like what the movie does is they very much paint Dick Cheney as a very realistic person and stuff. Most movies like something like this. I think you mentioned it too with the whole thing with Hitler and a lot of other people and stuff. Yeah, we know Dick Cheney is an asshole, but they, you, they, there were certain spots where it's like, for instance... You have to humanize. Yeah, like, for instance, his daughter was gay. Now, I didn't know that he was very open to the fact that she was gay and supported it, and I didn't know that his, his wife was was bucking hard on that shit. Well, I didn't course, know that. You know, of course. Come on, mom for the middle of uh, Wyoming. Oh, my goodness, she's a lesbian. So yeah. you dykes going to scissor in front of us? Like, you know, shit like that. I didn't know that. I was like, because in my head, I was half expecting that scene to be like Dick Chang just looking at her and walking out the room like, I don't support this. Well, you didn't know that? I'm, Fuck no, I exactly, didn't. See, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. We said that after the movie. Now, I do, you have, some, and I know a lot of people, super liberals, like, oh, it humanizes them too much and all the rest of that. It's kind of funny. We've seen that recently with um, George Bush. Yeah. Where George Bush is going on a weird redemption tour. Now, let me make it very clear. I understand how people feel because I'm the same way. Like, hey, yo, George. Remember 9 11? That's what I'm saying. Yo, George, it's beautiful and all, but you did 9 11, my nigga. So, I ain't <laughs> oh, forgot oh, shit. Oh, oh, and this movie really shows how oh. much. Oh, <laughs> oh. It is weird. Shout out to Sam Rockwell, man. He, he really nailed. Like, he the nailed. conversation, the conversation between. Bush I think Cheney. it's dumbed. I think they dumbed it down a bit, though. Yeah, they dumbed it down. I feel like, like they dumbed it down on purpose, just to, just to, just so that it could be framed right in the movie. Yeah, but I think that combo for the most part happened. Yeah. Oh, in, yeah, t- yeah. in terms of like oh, destruction. Oh, yeah, it, yeah, it happened on his ranch. Now that I know too. Yeah. But so 
And that's a funny thing. There's a lot of symbolism to using this movie. It's like spot on. Now, that is some heavy handed shit. But here's the thing about the heavy handed shit. Now that we're out of it, yeah. when you see that real quick clip of Jeff Sessions, oh, yeah. we, you grown. You're grown at this shit. But yeah. here's the thing. They were there and they were a part of this history. Of, of history. Pence was a part of that. They were. They, they said. Was. They said these things, and that was said. You can grow on all you want that they're in power now, but guess what? It started this time. It started at that, and that's the one thing I didn't know. I did not know that. I knew that Rumsfeld and Dick Cheney had a real relationship, yeah. and it's because I didn't like Dick Cheney like that. I didn't care to know that much. Well, I was so in the military, so that was I didn't one know of those things that, that I picked. Up I didn't on know that there. they were boys all the way back in the '60s. Well, I knew I they were no, boys. I didn't, like I said, with you. I knew they were cool with each other, and they knew each other, but I didn't, I didn't know, know it Rumsfeld, was that far back. Yeah, I didn't know Rumsfeld was actually the mentor when you look at it. Yeah. And to be on some real shit, it humanizes uh, Dick Cheney also. And the fact that when I got this new, when he got this new banging ass job, I called my nigga. Hey, yeah. yo, bro, I got that job, job, nigga. Like, for real, like, what, what you doing, vice president? What? All right, right, man. I'm on the way. All right, nigga, I'll be in D.C. next week, bro. Like, that shit like shit like that. Like, and I and I know how people hate how you have to humanize evil people. Here's the thing. Evil people are human. Yeah. And even at times, like, like you have these people, like, fuck these group of people, fuck that group of people. When they get home and it's hit them and their lover or them and their children. It's like they're normal. They're normal. Yeah. I don't care how bad, I don't care how bad you hate that person. They're normal. Like, yeah. like I said, we're going to de- uh, back to George Bush and his redemption tour. Yeah, nigga, you did 9-11. But the fact that he makes these pictures of these dead soldiers, giving back to the family, do this and do that. And the fact that, all right, I got to be real. That Ebony and Ivory connection he got with Michelle <laughs> is fucking adorable. It is adorable. But it's like, but 9-11, dude. But 9-11. <laughs> Also, and I do this to get on black people's nerves. You know he did help black businesses out a whole lot, right? <laughs> I mean, but that's the thing about this film. It's like, but yeah, and that, did it, it you play, see that? But it plays up on the aspect of like people were wondering, well, how does somebody like George Bush get into office and stuff? Uh-huh. And the movie implies, like, like you said, the whole thing of, well, he's a man of the people. Mm-hmm. That's why it was like he went back home to the ranch at one point during the whole when he was, you know, mm-hmm. getting elected and stuff. Like they, they made him the man of the people. Yeah. Cargro was the, the master behind mastermind behind the whole Even thing. Even though Dick said that nigga was a hat. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean look, I, I remember specifically people in the media calling Carl Rove a hack. So yeah, it wasn't Carl just him. Rove, Carl Rove was one of those Carl Rove to me was like motherfucking John Gruden. You can you can talk shit all you want. The nigga won a Super Bowl. <laughs> Triple. It's like he's like, like, like this. You can say what you want, but the motherfucker won a Super Bowl. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's sort of like that, man. I I you know. But just the build up of seeing Dick yeah. build up in power and stuff, and even when Clinton got into office and stuff, you saw he was like, all right, I'm gonna fall back and go back to Wyoming and get in the back doorway as a, represent, a, a represent, representative. Yeah, yeah. You know, you, so it's like it wasn't over. And you and one of the real good things in this movie is if nobody wins an award in this movie, if if there's only one person I can choose to win anything in this movie, I mean this is Amy Adams. Amy Adams played a played um Lynn um Cheney, and Ooh. she did very well. You see this woman, despite what you say of her politics. Again, I have to specify this: despite what you think of her politics and what she she had her handprint on shit. Because trust me, a wife. Has their handprint on a husband, oh, yeah. no matter what, 100%. unless that nigga's a pure asshole. I mean, she and in this with- case, and in this case between Dick and Lynn, they love each other. Mm-hmm. They loved each other, and it's very you get these really good scenes between them two, man. Amy Adams, like I say, if if Christian don't win nothing for this, Amy should. Oh yeah, she I mean, should because you you forget the fact that how like you said how knee deep in the politics that she was exactly. In, in turn, like, cause at one point, you know, Dick had a heart attack when he was, you know, going up for, you know, representative and stuff, and she took the, took the reins and helped them, you know, push yeah. forward and actually give points up on the board, and boom, you actually know, he won. Real talk, and real talk on, um, and on the flip side, even though I don't fuck with Republicans, Republican women don't realize how much power they have when it comes to that situation, especially these good Republican wives. Yep. And like, let me make it very clear. Take your politics out of it. They're un. They're they're actually pretty good. They're damn good women. 
that they're strong, they're fearless when it comes to that shit. That being said, not Sarah Palin. No, she's dumb as bricks. No, there are exceptions. But but, 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 still. but the key thing was, I think this movie also does a good job of really highlighting like how does somebody like Dick Cheney manage to maneuver the way he did and stuff. Like look past the whole conversation that he had with Bush. When you look at what he had dealing with his lawyer. And what he was doing in the, you know, in the Senate and the House and all that stuff. I mean, this dude literally had offices set up all he around D.C. Hey, I remember that. And it's so funny because we're here in Washington, D.C. So a lot of us in the audience, we're more, like, uh-huh. we're like, like this. <laughs> I always say that D.C., D.C. politics, if you live in D.C., you're more akin, you're more in tune to it. You know how the city works. Yep. So... When he said he had an office at the CIA building, I was like, I remember that. And then when he said he had it at the Pentagon, here's Chris. Yep. yep. I can tell you where it was at, too. <laughs> and it's yeah. like, you can, like, and to see how they set up shit and how this person wasn't important, how that person was important. Like I said, there was a lot of symbolism, a lot I mean, of even the a small, lot of visual stuff that was really I mean, appealing about this movie. And I mean, I even love. the small stuff like the whole thing with Colin Powell and his oh kind of like goodness. relationship with, with let's with get that out of the way. I'm, oh. I'm sick and tired, y'all. He does not look like Clarence Thomas, man. He that does was me not. busting the balls on that shit. <laughs> That's funny now. If anything, he looks like Dia's cousin James. No, but it's like it's interesting in the fact that you see the fact that ultimately, yo, Colin Powell was not fucking I with Dick Cheney at all. I like, told you he wasn't fucking with him, and when he made that speech to the UN, that fucking ruined Colin Powell as, as I mean, a political figure. Because Colin Powell knew something yep. was fucking up in that speech. Because he's like, yo, what the fuck is this shit? Now, if you remember, there was remember at the time. It's funny now with the president that we got in fucking office right now. Mm-hmm. Really, what happened was it wasn't so much. That we, well, at least when we at the time we was always framed that Colin Powell was the only adult in the room. Yeah, he the only one that would see differently. He did. Yeah. and the reason why is because Dick Cheney set up this network that he was more powerful than the fucking president. And they and again the movie does a great job of showing an him putting the pieces job. together uh-huh. and stuff. Because I mean, if we, let's be real about this. It starts with Rumsfeld and their relationship, uh-huh. right? Yeah. It starts there, and Rumsfeld was the one that kind of got him in the door. So like you said, it's like hey. I, you know, I got myself in the back door through the representatives. You know, Bush Bush called me up. Yep. And I got Rumsfeld in, and Rumsfeld got his peoples in, and we have my lawyer here, and we yep. got this little inner circle. And then you got you Scooter know. Libby, who actually really, really kept all that shit going uh-huh. because he was the chief of staff at the time. So it's in, it, now the only thing I will say, and you, I talked about it. The only thing they did, and it was a blur was like the last three years of the um, Bush administration. They kind of blurred over that. Well, because like you said, at the end of the day, Cheney, after he yeah. shot the homeboy in the face, it was just, he was just chilling and listening to briefings and that's Bert, it. Listening to briefings, having a heart attack, having a stroke. They didn't go into all the heart attacks yet. Thank yeah. God, because that would have took all day. Yep. But you, but the more important thing was you saw the re- repercussions of what Dick done. Let me tell you, when it comes to Dick Cheney, Dick Cheney's reach starts from the from the Nixon administration on down, Ooh. and the pieces that were in play. When you watch it, you're going to be pissed off. Oh yeah, it, it's a build up. If you think, <laughs> if you you want to know why American politics is the way it is right now, it's because it started this. And everybody said this when when JFK got shot, that devastated the country. When Nixon resigned, we started not trusting politicians no more. And the American people had this weird split. Uh-huh. And then on top of that, it became conservative versus liberal. And then you have one third of the country who just don't give a shit. And they yep. framed that. It, it's cringy. It's a cringy joke at the very end of the movie. But I was like, I get it. I fucking get it. Yeah. It's, 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 it's conservative versus liberal or in this case which I always say I'm sorry so the truth was said and I believe the truth that makes me a liberal that had me and, and, dying and, and, and the key thing is and again these are things that I didn't know is the I aspect of like these these focus groups yep. and them trying to understand the death tax yeah. And things like that. And it's like, oh. And then the financial tr- crisis and just and all the backdoor stuff. Like, 
I didn't know. And like you said, the whole thing that conspiracy theorists they sit there and mention, but since conspiracy conspiracy theorists tend to go over the moon, yeah, they go they go. You right just kind of brush, it, yeah, and they go right into tinfoil hat territory. Nobody really fucking listens to them. Yeah, and even when you do, it comes that could be exploited because Alex Jones. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, and and the, and the movie shows like, yo, there's consequences to a lot of the things yeah. that got pushed and because. It, the whole thing with want, the uh, yeah. the anti the, the, with the anti tax bill and them really and it really started back with Reagan. If you really, really, yeah, yeah. Like, we really want to be honest. Yeah, I'm about to say a lot of the actually conservatism went through the roof when Nixon. I mean, not Nixon, where Reagan went in. Yeah, that was a whole different uh, time for conservative values or the Republic, more Republican values. You know what I mean? Yeah, all that changed everything around. And, one, and once Clinton got in, and again. This, Clinton like I said, gave to me, the gave, Clinton gave to me and people hope, yeah. but it was one of those situations where America, you know what, they really didn't explain that in the movie, and it was fine that they well, didn't when Clinton got in, they showed how Cheney and them kind of planted the seeds for when Bush got in, essentially. Yeah, they knew, they knew, they, 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 they um. Coming I mean, the 90s was the booming yeah. times of everybody making money. Yeah, and his daughter came out, and he was all fine with it, it's amazing. It is amazing how the movie at the end of the the end of the movie is going to be really it's done very well. Yeah. So, only thing I got to say is this is definitely going to win awards and it should win awards. Direction wise, well, I think McKay does a very good job. He wrote it too. Yeah. Um. Then you got then you got Christian Bell, who I think Christian did a really good job. I here's the sad part. I kind of don't see Christian winning nothing enough of this stuff. He'll get the nomination. Though. Oh, he's going to get nominated. He should, but I don't see him winning. Well, I see Amy Adams winning more so than and Amy should. No, I mean that. I think Amy should. She she better win something for this, man. She was really I think, good. I don't me. know if she won for American Hustle. I don't remember if she did. But she I got nominated for American yeah. Hustle. But she, you know. Amy, That's another movie she acted ass on. Amy too. Adams has been really, been really great, man. Yeah, she does. How was it that Amy Adams, four seconds in Justice League, left an imprint? How was that goddamn possible? <laughs> I'll tell you what, though. I'm laughing at I shit. I love Steve Carell, but I had to laugh because, like you said, he didn't look nothing like fucking Donald Rumsfeld. But here's the thing. He he did it, though. Yeah, he, he did it. He, he, he owned did it. it. He owned because it. Because Donald Rumsfeld did have this little shit-eating grin on his oh, face yes, he did. all the Ooh, time. Oh, man. And there was a picture. Steve Carell is great at that, man. <laughs> There's a picture <clears throat> I remember in our in our, in our our um, flight room and stuff of, you know, all the, you know, higher-ups and stuff, president and all that stuff, and there's Donald Rumsfeld with his fucking shit-eating grin, and I was yep. like, this motherfucker. You have these people, and it's, it's so sad that, and I, and somebody, oh man, to hear talk about somebody talk, to hear them talk about Asawi and how he ended up making ISIS, to hear somebody Dude, behind, we you heard, did you hear somebody, you heard that person behind, was like, what? I was like, uh, and me, lying, not a lot of people, and everybody was kind of chuckling around me. Yep. Because <laughs> again, made ISIS. but that's the thing. It's like when you get to the Bush years and all the the international stuff. That's when, if you were not really kept abreast of that stuff, again, I was oh, yeah. military, so I kind of was I don't abreast think no, of that stuff. Yeah. If you were not abreast of that stuff, the movie does a great job of really highlighting, like, yo, this happened because of this. This happened because of that. Oh, this is how ISIS got formed. And they don't do it in a way that's rushed. It's like, no, this happened because of a yeah. domino effect of just shit building yep. up to this point. And then they got, and then the one saying where but they're talking about Going after Iraq, Iraq who had and nothing Rumsfeld to do. is pushing Iraq to the and high then, heavens. And then, and who was the dude that was like, "No, it's really fucking uh, uh, the um, somebody else." And Colin Powell was like, "I don't think we should do this. They have nothing to do with it." And then Dick Cheney, because Dick Cheney at this point, regard all he needs is an okay. Yeah, just looking at Bush like you, you want like to do you this? Were like you want you ready you ready you ready to take out Saddam. And the real cover about that was a lot of people still saw Saddam as evil. And the real cover behind it was that put him in everybody power. report. report look, here's the one thing. Here's the one thing. Much like if we're going to remember George Bush doing 9-11, uh, Hillary, you supported this shit. Oh, it was a – that's the thing. A lot that of people – That me Because let's be real about this. Everybody got duped. Everybody. We all got duped. I mean, Colin Powell and some other people who, again, they, since they always been in that kind of field, they oh, kind yeah. of was like, hold up, this is bullshit. Yeah. But, like, and, for me and a lot and, of other people, and, and like I said, we got people like Hillary and a lot of other politicians, they're getting briefs like, oh, shit, I guess this yeah, shit is true. Yeah, I guess true. this shit is true. We need to take out Saddam. Yeah. We need to take out Saddam. Because Saddam is still seen as evil. 
And yet, we the one that put him in power. We put the, <laughs> that's like, why I was like, that's why it was just funny and how, like, when it was like, let's go after Iraq, I'm pre- again, I'm pretty sure Saddam was like, hold up, I thought we were cool. America, what, what, what? Has, no. <laughs> America has a track record, and I keep on telling people this. We have a track record of making our own enemies. Just straight up. We make we our own enemies, and then we unknowingly get enemies in the process uh-huh. at the same time. And we unknowingly put... What happened with Asawi was, hey, they played your mixtape once over the radio, and a lot of niggas dig that shit. <laughs> I love that scene. And you ran with it. I love that scene when his boys looked at him like, hey, dude, you made news. <laughs> Al Akbar. Al Akbar. I was with my nigga. Al Akbar, man. Like, Hell yeah. <laughs> Because they had to look at Look, what he said to his me. God be praised, baby. I mean, because they had to look at him. Because the second they said a Sowie, you didn't even hear me? The second they said a Sowie, oh, God. Because I'm pretty sure they were, I'm pretty sure up to that point they were like, man, are we really making waves out here? Shit. Wait, 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 wait. America? They picked this dude who, number one, was like. Miller. The former drug deal, all the rest of that shit. Number one, I don't, I don't rocks with that nigga um, Bin Laden. Fuck that nigga, man. I'm oh, about yeah, to he kill, was, I'm this, about this kill a, him and his mama, yeah, man. This, this is a guy that was like, yo, I'm going to kill his wife and I'm going to kill his mama. Now, let me make this really. Now, this is a, a, a thing that always that gets me, too. They t- uh, Americans don't know how, the, especially in the Middle East, how certain sections of Muslims don't like each other. Oh, hell no. They don't rock with each other at it's all. like Christians in America. There yeah, there are certain Christians sections that we, we don't fuck with each other. Mormons man. do not fuck with damn Baptist people like that. Why? Both of y'all are crazy. I mean that, man. Well, fuck well, that. Well, as soon as the Mormons started adding two extra additions to the Bible, true, stuff, true. Like, hey, oh, look, 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 on, get look, wild over here, dog. D, look, how are you going to hit Baptist? Easy. Everybody from the Bible Belt on down, <laughs> pick a God. Old <laughs> Testament or new? <laughs> pick a pick lot. one. Pick a goddamn lane because you can't hit this whole thing. God loves you and God's going to make sure you get this and that, that. By the way, if you're gay, God's going to roast your faggot ass. You can't do that. You can't do, <laughs> you can't do that, bro. So, that's, but, that's the same thing with Muslims. But like, yeah, oh, Muslims the same way. So that thing, that tripped me, that, that does trip me out that now I did not, now here's a funny thing. I knew about Asawi. Yeah. I knew he had nothing to do about it. I didn't know that that nigga was beefing with Bin Laden. I was like, get out of my face my with that shit. My dad told me that shit. I was like, yo, are you serious? Bin Laden, yo, wow. He didn't fuck with that nigga. It be your and then he rolled out. He rolled out, went to Iraq. And uh-huh. that and he was and the one thing they needed. Happened. That was all they needed. Because if he never went to Iraq, that shit would never uh-uh. have happened. I don't even know with Iraq. If he never met up with Bin Laden. And here's the key. Him meeting up with Bin Laden wasn't what the what we were told Mm-mm. as the as the people. And they made a note. Now note, they say he was a Sunni he he went all was a Shiite or was a Sunni no. I forgot what he was, whatever the, I forgot what it was. I don't want to miss um, misquote. Yeah. But they don't fuck with each other. No. And he said he wanted to kill Bin Laden's mom and Bin Laden, and you know take over on that side of Afghanistan. Uh-huh. It the they didn't like each other, and all he did was leave. You mean to tell me this nigga? St- this nigga was the threat that started a and war. And Cheney was literally sitting there like, all right, I guess that's, that's what we all need. That's all we need. I cool. need. Bet. That is the opening. That's all I need. And over, we got thousands, thousands of Americans that died, thousands of Iraqis that died, and on some real shit, man. On some real shit. We got people whose lives are ruined. Yeah. And then at the end, with Dick, when they did, when they did the little Dick Cheney, you know Henry Hill speech at the yeah. end of the movie. Yeah. Hey, hey. As much as I fucking hate him, he makes a goddamn point. Yeah. And that's what it always falls at when it comes to these situations. Because I told, because because somebody got mad at me when I mentioned that about Obama. I was like, oh really? Then who would you want to do it? Who would you want to do to kill like kill all these people to keep America safe and do all this shit, all the shit that is it you want wrong? to hold? Is it wrong? Yes. Yes, it is. But guess what? Somebody had to say fucking do it. 
Yeah, but that's the thing. Is that it's, was it's, how it that's is? The, that's the tough choice. It's, and it's and and if it sounds like I'm supporting that shit, it's not that I'm supporting it. It's that I understand there's two sides to everything. Well, it's like the whole thing and it's, of it's cause and effect to everything, and it's so deep how they how they point that well, out. Well, it's kind of right? like how you have the whole idea of understanding the business side of certain things, exactly, and then like your moral aspect of the side. Yeah, of yeah, that's like that so person. Fun. It's like that, and we talk about it when it comes to wrestling. Yeah, sure, you know about this and all that, but you don't get the business aspect of it. You don't understand the um, this pound, bro. You got it. You got it. Ah, see there you go. Ah, ah or somebody behind you did this. Shit. <laughs> anyway. Nah, but um, but yeah, it's like you you have it, as an adult, you start understanding like, oh, this shit isn't yeah. as black and white as I thought it was. In other words, in other words, it was said best by motherfucking um, my motherfucking um. Michael Jai White and um, Black Dynamite. So shut the fuck up while grown folks is talking. Yeah. But, the, but, but, but the, that's how politics are. Yeah. The second we started letting that shit into our homes, the second we start, second Fox News. Now, we can say CNN, but CNN wasn't propaganda. Yeah. It never was. You can say it is liberal leaning. I agree with you a little bit. On, I will agree with you on that. It is liberal leaning. But, at the, but it wasn't fucking Fox News. Yep. Where it was just pretty much, where it was always like I, I laugh when people say, "Oh man, Fox News now with Trump is state is is like state um it's like state news sort of like um with Hitler." Here's me, uh, it's always been like this. Mm-hmm. The second the second Hannity and Combs went to just the just the Sean Hannity show, that's when it was over. Mm-hmm. The fact that Chris Wallace will get on there and tell the truth. Just for not even a half an hour later, like Chris Wall's like, well, this is what happened. Yes, it's it's conservative leaning, but he's telling the truth. Yep. And for the next show, is Donald Trump right for killing Mexicans? Yes, he is. It's like dog. It's sort of like that, man. It's it's amazing. This movie is histo- is history. Yeah. And you know what? I think they do a brilliant job. A plus, ten out of ten for me. It was great. Oh yeah, I get great. 10, 10 good act, good acting, all the rest of that. Tom, hey, <laughs> I feel only thing I feel for all. Only thing I will say is this: Tyler Perry is always going to have that voice. So if you say Medea, shut the fuck up. But yeah, I agree. <laughs> hey, with hey, you. look when he when he's playing Colin Powell. Even if, if you take out the aspect of his Tyler Perry and you get your laughs out there, he does a pretty good job. I of, love that of, of him being cold yeah, and pout. I the, love that, that that scene where he got up and it's just the look on his face was oh, yeah. of this is fucked up. I don't Bullshit. believe this. <laughs> I don't believe this, and this is going to ruin me. Nobody's going to think I'm. Nobody's going to take me seriously ever again. Yeah. And, and you can see it on his face. There was great acting in this whole movie. Man. Oh yeah. yeah. I, I I loved it, man. It was heartbreaking at the end. Also. Even though I'm not, I'm not, I don't, I, I'm not that type of person to, to to feel sad about it. But when you really see how it was built up for um, Dick's uh, daughter to go against, to go against her own sister, it is so heart. That is a heartbreaking scene, especially man. when you know where. He and stands then at. they have the nerve to show Dick at during that time, and the look was on his face that I betrayed my own daughter. It is so fucking. And again, it's not it's made. It's, 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 it's made it, to humanize him, but not to where you're like, oh man, maybe Good Dick's a good guy after. I was like, mm, that's just one stance that he has. And you know what the best part about it is? They left us with a laugh at the end of the movie. That's how you do yeah. it. Yeah. All right, man. Anyway. But anyways, that's our review. So yeah. uh, good to see you back for this. This, man, this, this was like, I hate my job. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have a job? At yeah, least? at least I got one, man. Thanks, thanks, Bush. <laughs> <laughs> anyways, guys, we'll catch you later. Peace out. Dude. Chin, 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 chin,